Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. Listen, like I told you right now, Wiz, crime doesn't pay. There's no shortcut in life. Only thing come fast is trouble. Today, what I'm talking about is this, man. The father and son combination. How? This kid from nine years old, as he got older, he did everything he could possibly do to help re get his dad released from a life sentence in the feds. Right now, man, they don't make kids like that no more. Here it is, the love for his dad, man. He became an activist. And right now, like I told you, man, powerful story. Tune in, listen. Who was released from a federal prison after more than 30 years, our Annalisa Gale joins us now live in the studio. And Annalisa, you spoke to his son today. Understandably, it's a very emotional day for them. That's right. Good evening. His son is thrilled to have his dad home tonight after many years apart. Tony Lewis Sr.'s release comes after decades of advocacy. Supporters even creating a website to advocate for him. The URL is freetonylewis.com. On the site, it says Lewis has been in prison under six presidents and three wars. He was convicted at 26 years old of conspiracy to distribute cocaine and sentenced to life in prison without parole. But today, at 60 years old and a grandfather. That sentence was reduced to time served under the First Step Act of 2018. That legislation allows for early return for eligible inmates who participate in programs that reduces their chances of returning to prison. Now, Lewis's son is a popular D.C. activist and an author. He wrote a book in 2015 entitled Slug, A Boy's Life in the Age of Mass Incarceration. In a tweet today, he said, God is the greatest. In the studio, Annalisa Gale, D.C. News Now. Hey, look at that, folks. You know, here it is right now is this young guy. He was a kid when his dad went to jail. Nine years old. Had the life. You know, he had his dad. He had his mom. He had everything he can possibly ask for. But at nine years old, guess what happened? Here it is. His dad was involved in legal activity. You know, he hustled. He was down with, you know, hey, listen, D.C. legend, Rafael Edmonds. And you know what? Anybody know anything about them? You know, back then, I can remember being incarcerated at the time. And I can remember watching Rayford Edwin, you know what I'm saying, Tony Lewis Sr. and their co-defendant being transport back and forth to court, you know, armed, guarded security on helicopter. That was some like deep stuff even way back then. So when you watch, you know what I'm saying, this man just got released. After serving, what, 34 years, he went away when he was, what, 26, and he got a life sentence. And as his son say, he fought for his dad. Because once again, yeah, he was a kingpin, but it was no violent. And that's a lot of things what people got to understand. Sometime right now is when you got drugs, chances are it's going to be murder. It's going to be people getting shot, killed, hurt, maimed, you name it. But this so happened with him, he got convicted, but his crew was responsible for some murder, but he wasn't. So that's why he was able to, despite get life. And right now, as I remember back in the days, anybody got a life sentence with the federal government, only way you can get out it's through a federal pardon. You have to get pardoned by the United States. You know what I'm saying? The president of the United States. And even with that being said, like he said, he been in there and he watched and he seen six presidents, three wars. That's a long time. And right now where it's like, look, when I was a child, I act as a child. I behave as a child. I did a all childish things, but when I became a man, I put all that behind me. He put everything behind him. And right now, it's like, look, he got a strong support system. You know, like I say, Tony Lewis Jr. wrote a book and did an outstanding job, help his dad get released. That we don't give these kids enough credit. Despite his dad wasn't there, despite his, you know, he knew where his dad was at. He knew his dad was still alive, and he knew that he had a good dad. He knew his dad made a mistake, but once again, what he did was he put blood, sweat, and tears 
I'm going to get my dad home. You know, here it is right now. He's an activist. You know, more or less like trying to help not just his dad, but other people in the D.C. community. And that's what we need, folks. That's what we need. We don't have enough of that. And once again, like I tell you right now, I'm not trying to, you know, advocate, you know, hustle, you know, and all that other negative. Nah, I'm advocating right now is guess what? Dads need to be in their son life. They need to be in their daughter life. They need to be in their wife life. They need to be out there. You know, and the difference right now is we got to stop these kids and get them to understand right now is that street life is far overrated. We don't lost too many people to the penitentiary. We don't lost too many people, especially kids to the graveyard. And then is when it's going to stop. So once again, like I said right now, it's a powerful story. This man got his dad back. He's been fighting to get his dad back. And you know what? Guess what? God is good. God is good all the time. Listen, man, hit the like button. Subscribe, share. I am the real Brian Glaze Gibb. I was once the problem. Now what I'm seeking to do is how do I become part of the solution? You know what? Shout out, welcome home, Tony Lewis Sr. And great job, man. Hats off to Tony Lewis Jr. Like I tell you right now is guess what, man? You are my hero. I know you're your dad hero. You're my hero. You're a lot of other people hero. Could you bring back hope? Peace, love, and prosperity. One love.